What's up YouTube? It's your girl Ebony Elliott and I'm back again with another video. Today in this video I will be showing you my home salon. Braids by Ebony LLC is a home-based business and I'm going to show you guys how I put everything together. Now before we get into the actual tour of my home salon, I want to actually bring you back a couple of months ago and show you a few clips that I took along the way to show you how I put everything together. Now if you guys are ready to see this, let's get to it. Hey y'all, so I got inspired and decided to go back to my drawing skills, even though I'm a little rough around the edges, but I decided to draw out my home salon of how it's supposed to look. Um, but yeah, this is gonna come to life soon, so you guys stay tuned. You see these lovely white walls? They're about to get transformed. So I started to prep and I was supposed to do the whole area. And then I got lazy. So it just came in the mail. All right, so some of my packages did come in today. Um, I finished painting the top of the ceiling already and that dried. So I got the stickers on the wall. That's pretty much the placements of where the mirrors are gonna go. And it's just one step at a time, one step at a time. Let me walk y'all over here real quick, real quick. You know, my house is a mess, don't mind the mess, y'all. I had to move all my stuff on this side. Um, we got all the braiding hair, different colors and stuff. Um, that's my, my, my sign that's gonna go on the wall. Um, some of the shipping label stuff is there. And then I got my heat um, flat iron just came in the mail, my portable dryer, my garbage can for the salon and stuff. So we are definitely moving forward with this home salon. Choo, 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 choo. Getting it together, getting it together. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Guess who's here? I'm so excited, y'all. I gotta go pick up the labels tomorrow. Oh my goodness, y'all got all these boxes I gotta do. Uh, so excited, y'all. Okay, everybody, so now that you guys got like a little taste of what it took for me to kind of like get everything together let's go ahead and start the tour now here i want to show you my my um i guess my stand-up sign prop up sign i don't even know what they call it retractable banner there we go um i actually got this for free um when i purchased my products my labels that i i purchased i purchased so much labels that the company ended up throwing in a free gift and i'm kind of happy about it because they actually charged 300 dollars for this Ooh, i was gonna pay 300 but I got it. There we go. All right, let's move on. Okay, you guys. So this is one of my favorite parts of my salon is actually the hair. Now, I know a lot of braiders that do provide hair only provide certain colors. You'll get the, the one, the one B, the two, the four, and maybe like a 27, like a brownish color. Um, but over my last 12 months, I realized that, you know, people like different colors. Like, I have some of my Jamaican girls who love the blues, the reds, the purples, the blondes. I have some of my other girls who like the browns, the different shades of browns. I have some of my girls who like the reds and the burgundies. So, and then I got some of my girls who are basic, like my homegirl, Brenda. She loves just black hair. I mean, so I have something a little bit for everybody. Now, showing all the colors that you see here, I have about 30 different colors. Now, I know you're probably saying, well, Ebony, I only see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 colors. Actually, this is actually double-sided. 
So not only do I have 12 colors on this side, but I have 12 colors on the other side. Now also as well as I have little um, cards here because I actually have different colors, uh, like maybe two to three colors on each rack. So this particular rack, I have like two colors here and then um, down here I have two different colors, two different colors, two different colors. This is my rainbow hair and then here you'll see I have two to three different colors behind each one. Um, each, each rack itself probably holds anywhere between 10 to 15 packs of hair. Um, so I can definitely fit a lot of, a lot of hair on these racks. Like I said, it's double sided. I'm not going to show you the back of the rack, uh, because in the back, I, I normally have my neutral colors, like all my blacks, my twos, my fours, my solid colors, if anything, I wanted to really showcase all of my colors in the front because for one, a lot of people don't even know I have all these colors and they might say they want black and then they get here and they're like, oh my God, I didn't realize you had all these colors. Can I choose this instead? So I love to showcase all the colors. Now, out of all the colors I have here, I'm not going to lie, when I found this color and this is my rainbow color, I was super excited. I was trying to find this everywhere and I finally found it at one of my local hair stores and I, I cannot wait till I have a client that actually wants to actually try this. So... Um, I do use Expression. Expression is the only brand of hair that I like to use. Um, I have three different sizes. Um, I use 48 inch as my regular mid-back prices. Um, I use my 38 inches for my children. And then for my clients who like to have longer hair, like so the waistline or butt length and even thigh length, I use my 60 inch hair. I keep all my 60 inch hair on the back side as well. Um, and then I keep all my 48 inches in the front. Just makes it look organized and easier to, to be able to find things. All right, let's move along. All right, you guys. So now we are in a different part of my salon. Um, here, if you see over there in the corner, I actually have a um, sit down blow dryer. Now I, I decided to get that for silk presses, um, for deep conditions, um, when I retwist dreads or if I start dreads. I love to put my clients under that particular dryer. I have two dryers. We'll get to the other one. We get to the other side, um, and I'll tell you why I got two different ones. Um, I have my wig um, mannequin head here, and then I also have my other uh, wig here that I'm working on. Lord knows I've been taking like forever and a day to finish this, but I'm working on it, you guys. Look, I'm a very busy woman. I got a lot going on, but this is like actually one of my braided wigs that I am working on. Um, She's very cute. She's actually gonna be um she's actually gonna be large and this is um if I'm not mistaken, this is about 30 inches long. Um either 30 or 36 inches, but one of the two. But um this is my baby. I'm working on her right now. Okay, so my next favorite part of um the salon is my sink, my portable sink. I love this sink, it's amazing. Absolutely no plumbing, no drilling. Uh, uh, it's heated um, and it looks like a regular sink. People wouldn't even know it was a portable sink until I tell them. But I'm gonna bring you in a little closer so I can turn it on and show you guys how it works. Okay guys, so here is my sink here. Um, I really love this sink. Let me move this out the way. This is actually my shampoo chair and it's a real shampoo chair. It actually go, does go all the way back if needed. But we're gonna move this bad boy out the way. So I can kind of like show you the sink itself. So. This bad boy cost me about $1,700. Now, I love it because it looks like a regular sink. It doesn't even look like it doesn't like, like it doesn't belong. Like it's not attached to the wall. Like it's not actually attached to plumbing, but, but it isn't. Everything in this sink is actually underneath the sink. And let me show you. So here in the sink, um, I have my waste tank here, which is the green tank. I have my blue tank here, which is my waste tank. And then I have my water heater here. This is how my water heats up. Um, and everything's plugged into the wall so, so everything can heat up and everything. I love it. It's also too like a pump. So it pumps the water out of here and into the water heater and then out into the sprout here. Now, I'm gonna turn it on so you guys can actually hear. It makes a slight noise when using it, but it's not actually that bad. So let me let you hear it. And I love it because it also comes with um, this little sprout thing too. I don't know what they call this, but you guys know what I'm talking about. 
and, it, and it's you know very easy to be able to wash your client's hair and it actually has a little groove here so the client can be able to put their neck so this is an actual real shampoo sink you hear that noise that's the noise of the pump actually sucking the water out of the tank so that way it could be able to move the way it is and as you see it's flowing water it's no issues and it, it is actually perfect now I have the ability to turn the water hot or cold here in the sink and hold on I'm going to let you guys get a little closer so you guys can see a little bit more up front let me close this back up Okay, so I kind of wanted to get closer into this thing. You guys don't mind my mess. But um, I love this. It has the little drainer thing here. And I mean, it looks like a real sink and everything, you know? Um, here, you get to put hot, cold, and then, you know, the little spread or whatever to be able to do what you do. Let me turn it on here. And I love it. And I'm going to put the link in the description of where I got this um, sink from. Um, I believe I got it from Sink Depot, but I'm going to double check and then I'll put everything down in the description. All right, cool. So now that I've finished showing you the sink, I want to talk about my sign, Braids by Ebony, that I have hung on the wall. That's about 42 inches wide. Um, can't really tell you how tall it is, but it's pretty big. Um, I got this particular sign from etchedonwood.com. I love it. It's very light, and I was able to stick it on the wall with double-sided tape. Um, not really tape, but um, Velcro tape, like that sticky um, Velcro. So I put a piece on the wall, and then I put a couple of pieces behind the sign, and I was able to stick it on with no problem. I love it. It's amazing. Um, these, two shelves, these two floating shelves right here, uh, I got these from Ikea. Now, if you notice over there in the corner, I got um, black towels. I love to have that right above my sink. So when I wash my client's hair, I could be able to take one towel and dry it right away without having to walk away from the sink and walk away from the client. Um, another thing I have over here are my bonnets. I got my bonnets handmade um, by a friend of mine. And when I tell you, like, these are amazing. Um... Inside, I have satin interior inside, and then on the outside is very high quality fabric. It's pretty big, as you see my head, and then like you see how big this is. So, I mean, you know, it's pretty big. I mean, you could literally put any kind of style in here weave, uh, braids, uh, sew ins, um, lace fronts. I mean, it's huge in here. I mean, I could stick my whole hand in another stuff. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. And then I have like different designs as well. Um, now, with these bonnets, these bonnets are handmade, so you can actually purchase these bonnets on my website. The link is also going to be in the description, and it's also going to be in my About Me on my YouTube page, braidsbyebony.com. And then I'll probably also put a link at the bottom, so you can also see um, where you can buy these. And let me show you the different patterns that I have for these. So, I, I love these, because these are like vibrant in color. Um, there's like an Aztec kind here. And then different patterns that I have available. And in each side, each bonnet, the satin is different colors on the inside. So you're not going to get the same color on the inside, which I love because it matches each bonnet or whatever. One of my favorite ones out of all the bonnets that I have is this one right here. Well, these two right here. So the watermelon one, I mean, I guess what they say, black people like watermelon. And um, she's red on the inside. And then I have this one, I call it like the monkey bonnet or like the jungle bonnet. These two are my favorite. Um, and they're just very fashionable. You're not going to find these in any hair store. Like I said, these are handmade. So you can definitely get them exclusively at braidsbyebony.com. All right, let's move on. Okay, so now we're in a different section of my salon. I know it seems like we didn't move that far, but we kind of did. Um, so here I have displayed is my um, BBE products. Now what BBE stands for is Braids by Ebony. Ah, uh, you get it? <laughs> so um, I have 16 different products on my product line. Um, this is one of my products called Fierce Silkening Conditioner. Um, this is obviously what you use after you put shampoo in your hair. 
Um, I have a leave-in conditioner, hydrating leave-in conditioner. It comes with a little nozzle spray. Um, I have a deep sea hair mask. Let me tell you, before I got my braids done, and you know you guys, I'm natural. I actually used this on my hair and I combed it through and I sat under the um, dryer, pretty much did like a deep conditioning. And this right here, amazing, amazing. Deep sea hair mask, try that. I have a blow dry cream. I also use this on my hair as well and it was amazing too. I love this product because it got my hair like very straight as possible without like damage, minimal damage to my hair. And I probably only like put heat on my hair, what, three, four times since I've been natural and I've been natural for two years. Um, I have a Dolce Leche moisturizer. So like, you know, if you, if you just need to put moist in your hair, moisture in your hair, this is something to, that you can use. It's kind of like, also like a leave-in conditioner. Intense hydrating shampoo. This is good for people who have uh, probably like dry, dry hair and you're trying to put like moisture back into it. All right, let's move on to the other side. All right, you guys, so I actually have two shelves like this. Um, because I had so many products, I was like, okay, let me put some on one shelf and some on the other one. Um, on this particular shelf, I have my uh, anti-itch growth oil. Um, it's very good and it has like a minty kind of like vibe to it. So you, when you put it on your scalp, it definitely feels like your scalp is breathing. Like, I don't know, it's, it's intense. <laughs> um, one of my other products that I love, love, love is my foaming mousse. Um, after I do all my clients' braids, I love to put mousse at the ends to set the braids. For some reason, I just feel like it just makes the braids extra glisten. I like glistening braids. I don't like no dry looking ass braids. I mean, do you like dry chicken? I don't like dry chicken. You like moist chicken, right? So let's moist up these braids. All right. I have a um, detoxifying charcoal shampoo. I love this because I also have the conditioner to match. Um, this is really good if you're trying to like detox your hair. Like in a sense, you want to pull all of like the product, the chemicals out of your hair. This is really, really good to use. Um, just because, like, sometimes, you know, us females, we be putting glue and all kinds of other stuff clogging up the pores. Just, clog just, just clogging up the poor hair follicles. I mean, come on, y'all. This is good use. Um, another product that I want to show you guys, and I'm not even going to lie to you guys, like, this shit works, is my edge control. Hold on. Okay. So, my firm hold edge control. This stuff right here, look, I couldn't find nothing to slick down my edges. My mama edges don't sit down for nothing. I put this on there, it slicked down, stayed down, didn't move. And this is actually pretty good. I want to say I use this on myself and it stays on for like two, three days. Like for somebody who's looking for a really good edge control, I mean, I'm not talking about that edge control where you put on your edges five minutes later, your little baby hairs is curling up or you walk outside. I'm, in, I'm from Florida, so humidity down here is horrible. You walk outside and go poof. No, this will hold you down for two, three days. You might want to get it. You can purchase this on my website. One other product that I want to discuss and talk about, but I don't have it. It's like on the other side, but we'll get to when we get over there. It's my apple cider vinegar shampoo. It's really, really good. I love it. And I recommend it for all my clients who have dandruff issues. You got a bunch of dandruff in the air. Put that in there. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Get it on out now. All right, y'all. Let's move on. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is my fancy dancy chair. I mean, it's not all that, but it's all that to me. I love this chair. Um, I got it from eBay. Um, I, I purchased three of these chairs. The first one I purchased, um, was pretty much at the beginning of this year, the beginning of 2020. And that one was about 160. This one I purchased towards the end of 2020. And this one was about 180. I'm guessing because of all the, um, you know, the high demands of products and people ordering online, the prices went up. So I had to pay an extra $20 for this chair, but I, I, I definitely love it. Um, another thing I have in my salon and I use this for my, my children is my booster seat. You can't, you can't have, you can't serve your children in regular seats like this because they're small, especially my four year olds. My four year olds can't, can't sit up that high. So I definitely have this as well. And I believe I paid like 20 or $30 for this. The link will be also in the description. I got that from eBay as well. I got a few things from eBay, um, because eBay actually had cheaper prices than, um, some of the beauty uh, stores that actually sell those those things. Um, so 
let's move on. So over here in this corner here, I actually have uh, two hanging um, devices, my little hangers, I guess whatever you want to call them. Um, because I wanted to put uh, two of my employee capes and two of my um, client capes. Uh, when I'm here with my assistant, she has on one, I have on one to protect our clothing. And then we have two client capes for the um, clients as well. You know, things, you know, hair gets on you, dandruff, dirt, whatever. You want to just keep the client clean. Um, over here in this section, I actually have my utility carts. And I L-O-V-E love these things. Um, on my utility carts, um, I actually have my, I call these, this is actually like a, um, a, like a, a rod holder, but I use it to, to separate and divide my hair. Um, it's kind of messy, but I have like my different stuff. I have my combs here, my beads, beads at the bottom, extra beads. I have all my like oils and, and, and foams as well, a styling mousse, um, Flat irons, crimp irons, blow dryers, curlers. I got all kinds of stuff just on these two carts. And these two carts here, I probably got for $30, I think. $30, $35 from, um, from uh, Ikea. And these utility carts, they do move. And, it, and they have wheels at the bottom. And I love it because with my two stations, I'm able to bring one on each side and be able to use them the way I need to. It's very functional, so I definitely love it. Um, I forgot to, to mention... I, you remember how I told you at the beginning of the video that I had two blow dryers um, that you sit under, well, that, two dryers that you sit under. I had my standard one over there on that side, and then I have my portable one that I'm able to move because this one has wheels as well. Now, I love to use this particular um, dryer for, for example, when I'm doing stitch braids, when I'm doing cornrow braids, because what happens is the client's hair is wet here, right? So I don't want to put them in the chair over there because the, their, their braids are going to wet the back of their, their shirt. So what I do is I have the client remain in the chair and then I just go ahead and wheel this around so that way I could be able to put mousse on the top of their head and put their head under the dryer with them without them having to move. And then I can be able to solidify their braids that way. Um... So, and then also too, if I have two clients here at one time and one client is under the dryer over there, then I'm able to bring the portable one as well. So I just definitely wanted that functionality. I didn't really need much, but I, I kind of just wanted to have it just to have it for my clients. All right, let's move on to my storage area. Okay, so this is my little storage area. It's not that big of an area actually. That's why I decided to buy a six tier shelf um, an industrial shelf so it can hold everything. Um, here at the, at the very top in this Home Depot box, that's where I keep all my bonnets. I actually have bins over here where I keep my wigs and then I have my little stuffing, stuffers. I don't know what they call it, but you know how you deliver products and then inside it has a little foamy paper? Yeah, that's what that is. <laughs> I didn't know what to call it. But, um, okay, moving over here, I actually have some of my stuff for, for my shipping. So, I have different size uh, shippers. This here is um, just for smaller stuff like my combs, my lashes, my eyelashes, um, uh, anything that can fit in here, I'll, I'll put. Um, I have these bags here that I have for my clients. So like, for example, if my clients come here and they actually wanna purchase something um, in store instead of doing it online, they can do so and then I would put them in these little cute little bags Nothing fancy, just something where my clients don't have to just, you know, carry their products out of, out of my house. Um, here I have my bonnets. I have my longer bonnets here, my black satin bonnets for my braiders. Um, that can be found on the website, and I have scarves as well. Um, here's where I keep all my product. As you see, my shining gems and all my extra products. These are the products that are usually shipped uh, when a client orders online. Um... I like to keep a box of uh, business cards nearby because um, after every client leaves, I always give them a couple of the cards and say, hey, if anybody asks you if, they, if, you, if you like their hair, go ahead and give them one of my business cards. Um, and it just makes it easier so that way the person doesn't have to remember my phone number or remember which braider did their hair because, you know, sometimes you have braiders saved in your phone under braids one, braids two, nice braids, and you didn't save the actual braider's name. So... That makes it good for referrals. And I know you guys are thinking business cards are old school. No, 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 ma'am. 
25% of my clients have came from referrals from them business cards. They work. Trust. Um, over here as well, um, I, I have like all of my product, even going down, if you see here, going all the way down. Here at the bottom, I have um, all of my, my chemicals to dye wigs. So I have all of my colors here. I have all my developers here, all of my bleach, all of my bleach here, um, and then just different random stuff that I have down here for my website and things that I use for my clients. Um, and I try to keep things very organized because I don't have that much space in my house. Um, over here in this section, I do keep um, all of my flyers. So my flyers are actually in all of these bins here. And let me show you something here. So this is what my flyers look like before. This is my standard flyer, and I got my flyers done from um, Vistaprint. Sorry, you guys. I know it's like a bit glary. Um, I got my um, flyers made from Instagram. I mean, not Instagram. This, <laughs> Vistaprint. And um, they were pretty good. I got them double-sided. And what I did was because I didn't want to spend a lot of money on door hangers. Door hangers are expensive. I think for like $100, you get 250 door hangers. They come with a little hole pre-cut out. Uh-uh. For $100, I got, what, 1000 to 2500 I can't remember because, like, I've been buying a, a bunch of stuff. But I would take a puncher, and I would punch the side of it like so. And then I would literally just take a rubber band and put it through like so. Hold on, you guys. I have nails, and I'm not going to lie to you. My assistant does this, so, like, don't laugh at me. I'm over here struggling. Um, Hold on. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, there we go. Got it. Okay, so, and once you, you know, you pull, you pull it through, and voila, guess what I have? I have a door hanger, and it fits multiple doorknobs, so it doesn't have to be the round ones. It could be the long ones. You could just put and go and see, look, door hangers. I have about 10,000 out of uh these four containers here um and it's very important to me like i could have hired a company to do it for me but you never know what these companies are going to actually pass them out or how many they're going to pass out or if it's going to actually hit my target area that i actually want to hit so me and my assistant we do go out um to different communities that i feel like will be more beneficial to my business and we pass out them door to door and we do it manually so i know which areas are being targeted and i and i and i know for sure that they are getting those on on the door so i kind of like to do it myself sometimes i do like to uh get hands on with things like that so um that's pretty much everything in my salon i just want to say thank you so much for taking the time to sit here and watch my entire video um of my home salon um Oh, there's a couple of things. There's one other thing that I want to uh, show you as well. I forgot to show. So, I have face masks. My hair speaks for itself. I also have face masks on the website as well. Um, and I have a white one and a black one as well. Um, and you can purchase that at brainsbyebony.com. You know, you want to stay safe for COVID. You want to stay safe for COVID. Um, so, on this side of the rack... I do keep my curly hair, my dreads, my, um, I use new lock and then I use free trust curls. Sometimes I use the, the, um, sometimes I use this brand because this brand is less, uh, it tangles less versus, uh, the free trust brand. And let me kind of show you, I don't know if you've seen it, but let me get it kind of closer to the camera where it's not like, yeah, I use this brand. Um, it's easier to separate the curls versus free trust. Free trust, I'd be over there about to strangle the hair, like, bruh, bruh. Can we get it together? Um, yeah, so that's everything.